it's one of the most physically demanding and dangerous jobs on the waterfront, lashing containers. Whatever the hour, whatever the weather, whatever the ship's equipment, layout, and condition. You just got to be aware of your surroundings. There's all sorts of things to trip on and fall. And if you fall, this stuff isn't like a mattress. It's steel. It's metal. You're going to get hurt. Containers are secured on ships by two support systems, interlocking cones that link one container to another, and a system of rods and turnbuckles by which the containers are lashed to the deck. The possibility always exists of uh, catching your fingers in here, in here when your one partner is uh, uh, adjusting this turnbuckle so that it can receive the bar, there's always a chance throughout uh, this procedure that your fingers are going to be cut. Lashing containers is a dangerous business. Impact injuries from falling equipment can be fatal. Pinching can cost fingers and toes. Tripping and falls are common. And muscle strains go with the territory. Guys don't just get bruises, you know, they either lose a limb, an arm, you know, finger, or they get killed. It's a very dangerous job down there. You got to be aware of your surroundings at all times. A lot of the danger in lashing and delashing doesn't involve rods and turnbuckles. One of the most common accidents on ships is falling, tripping over equipment, tumbling into a bay, slipping on a ladder, stepping in front of a piece of moving equipment. Think safety first. Maintain up and down awareness and 360 degree awareness all around you at all times. Lashing involves three crucial points of contact. A bar or rod attached to the container a turnbuckle attached to the deck, and the turnbuckle and bar married together, tightened and secured. I usually go like this so I don't go with it if the bar slips. Experienced lashers know the basics, like keeping two hands on the turnbuckle when securing it in case you slip. Always work in pairs and stay paired up, one on the bar holding it in place and one on the turnbuckle. Keep fingers, hands, arms, and legs out of the bite where metal meets metal. What we're seeing in terms of the types of injuries are from bars falling, uh, people getting their fingers caught between the bars and the turnbuckle assemblies here because that other rod isn't being held onto and maintained in position. Yeah. Think safety first. Maintain control of the bars at all times. Don't leave them hanging from the containers. If left unattended, they can come loose and fall. Protect yourself and your partner from injury with the right personal equipment. Always wear a hard hat, high visibility vest, and ear protection. Wear gloves and steel-toed shoes. Lift with your legs, not your back, to prevent strains. Work methodically and at an even pace. You'll be safer and more productive. Moving fast doesn't necessarily get the job done any faster. A slow, steady pace, make the right moves methodically, moves that aren't going to put you in harm's way, yourself or your partner. If we can get people to do that, they'll become consistent in the work and the work will get done at a good rate without putting anybody in harm. Take time to know the ship you're working on. Which way to the bow and stern? The location of bays and the dimensions of containers. Locations of the ladders, gaps in the deck, and potential hazards. Pay special attention to what's moving, the cranes and containers. 
Think safety first. Know where the cranes are at all times. Never work or stand under a moving crane or container. Check with your foreman about required safety margins while working around active loading and cranes. If you have a question or see a situation you think might be dangerous, ask your foreman. The same skills that will make you productive will also keep you safe. Working as a team, communicating constantly, and staying aware of your surroundings every minute you're on deck. I have a, a kid that just started here and I tell him you, you be all eyes and all ears all the time because it's a very um, uh, surprising kind of event uh, uh, working on the waterfront. Things happen when you least expect it, that's when it happens all the time.